It's been more than 30 years since anyone saw 18 year old Denise Flum, who you see behind me here. She disappeared from her hometown of Connorsville, Indiana on Good Friday back in 1986. But tonight, her family now has some sense of closure after an admission of guilt from a man already serving time. Denise Blum had a bright future ahead of her. She was a straight-A student at Connorsville High School, was active in sports, and had a prom to look forward to. I, I mean, she had everything going for her. I mean, she wants to go to Miami University. She got accepted. She's wanted to go there all her life, and I seriously don't see why she would run away or anything. WCPO 9 News reporter Janet Gross covered her disappearance back in 1986. She was going to look for a purse she thought she'd lost at a bonfire party the night before. She tried to get some friends to go with her, but eventually left on her own. And that that's where the story ends, on that country lane where her car was found. Sean McClung is the man now facing voluntary manslaughter charges. Denise's uncle says McClung was his niece's boyfriend for three years. They'd broken up shortly before her disappearance. The Fayette County Sheriff in charge of the investigation was seven years old when that happened. Going into different stores and the, the bank and everything as a kid, seeing the, the posters, the, the missing posters, and that's uh, just, you know, pretty much embedded in uh, a lot of folks my age and, and older uh, in this community. Sheriff Laughlin says his lead detective also remembered the case as a child and knew since then that he wanted to be a detective and mentioned the case when he interviewed. While there is more information to gather, the sheriff says he's grateful the Flum family can now have some sort of notion of closure. Them having peace of what happened to their daughter and them uh, ultimately uh, being able to have a proper memorial and burial for Denise um, is uh, something that we hope to bring to them. Closure uh, has always been the goal here. He could not comment on whether her body has been found, but did have a final message for any other individuals who may be involved. Anyone that has any involvement or any knowledge, the time's up. I would ask that you come to us before we come to you. Now, among the things the sheriff could not answer for us today, again, if her remains have been found, that was one of them that we mentioned there, and also how she was killed. We're going to make sure to stay on top of the story, though, for you.